Now to the last event of the evening. What a race in prospect. When you look at the quality of the lineup for this women's 100 metres, it is arguably one of the greatest we've ever seen, male or female, on a global stage. Dina Asher Smith, world champion over 200 metres three years ago. Some questioned whether she was in form. She answered those critics with a scorching heat and a brilliant semi final. Munjinga Kanbunji, world indoor champion. PBs this year over the 200 metres and indoors. She's in the form of her life and she'll need to be. Alea Hobbs, she got a relay medal last year in Tokyo. 10.81, joint fourth fastest in the world this year, but this isn't about times, this is about belief and heart. Melissa Jefferson, the US champion, without question, the biggest race of her career. An icon of sport, full stop. The only athlete in history to win four individual 100 metre medals. Shelly Ann Fraser Price goes in six. Sharika Jackson. Could she steal the thunder from her two more decorated famous compatriots? She won the Jamaican national champs in 1077. Marie Jose Tarlu, the veteran from Cote d'Ivoire, two silver medals in London. That was five years ago, but she proved in the semis she's still at the peak of her powers. Elaine Johnson Heron, the fastest living woman on earth, four times an individual Olympic champion, but never an individual world championship medal over 100 metres. This is a race that needs no hype. The quality on display sells itself. We have never seen a lineup like this, and we may never again. Cambungi, Switzerland in one, Jefferson, USA two. Jackson, Jamaica 3, Thompson Herra, Jamaica 4, Tarlou, Cote d'Ivoire in 5, Fraser Price, Jamaica in 6, Hobbs, USA 7, Asher Smith, Great Britain in 8. The Jamaicans had a clean sweep in Tokyo 12 months ago. What odds on them doing it again? Wherever you're watching, take a moment to savour this. It could be very, very special. for Shelly Ann Fraser Price getting out well and she has done she's bidding for a fifth world title and she's going to do it Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Elaine Thompson Herra five world titles five over 100 metres she needed a quick start she got a quick start and with it she takes the glory at last Elaine Thompson Herra does get her hands on a world championship medal but it's silver because it's glorious gold once again to Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Absolutely incredible performance. She had the race from the start. She got out, she moved through the middle, and she kept moving. She wanted it so bad. You saw her throughout the year. She was working on her 200, working on her ending speed because everybody knows that you can get out for 60. Can she hold it? She just showed, yes, I can. What a run, and what a champion. Five world titles over 100 metres. Four individual medals at the Olympic Games over the 100 metres. Arguably the greatest 100 metre sprinter the world has ever seen, male or female. I agree. The GOAT. <laughs> What a champion, and what a way to deliver. And by the way, for the statisticians among you, it is the third time this season she has run 10.67. She got the start she needed, and she was never to be threatened. It was Jackson, actually, who took second place. Thompson Herra got the bronze. She did get her World Championship medal. Jackson, on paper, had the quality to threaten Fraser Price and Thompson Herra. But it was not to be the gold for the Jamaican. Silver this time. The same three women on the podium, but with a different order. The Olympic champion, Thompson Herra, 
this time plays second fiddle to Shelley Ann Fraser Price, who simply does not know how to lose a world championship final over 100 meters. And how the party will start tonight here in Eugene and thousands of miles away in Kingston. That was unbelievable. She got out the block and she moved. And at 60 meters, you know she's going to be there, but they're used to coming back on her. She has been working on this, and this has been her mission and her goal. To have her fifth medal solidifies her as the greatest of all times. Watching it again. Dina Astro Smith got out, she was working, but you can see it on her face, a look of determination that this race is mine from start to finish. Just superb. Superb from Fraser Price. Needed a quick start, got a quick start. And she was never questioned. I mean, the extent, <laughs> of, the extent of her reign over an event that's so hard to dominate for two or three years, let alone 10 or 12, is extraordinary. It is. It really is. Had a baby, came back. There's so many things that she's done, you know, changing coaches and all kinds of stuff, and still, she dominates. I bow. <laughs> I know you shouldn't compare athletes, but I, I honestly think, and I never thought I'd hear myself say this, Bolt is an all-time great who transcends sport, but to win four individual 100 meter Olympic medals and to win five world titles, she's got to be the greatest 100 meter sprinter the world has ever seen, including Bolt, male or female, doesn't matter. I'm saying yes, because like you said, it's, it's, she goes away, she comes back, and she still wins. She finds a way to win. Like I said, she told me, or I saw in an interview, her saying her inspiration and where it comes from, and you've got to put yourself out there and believe that you can do it, and that's what she did. Shelly Ann Fraser Price once again retains the world title over 100 meters. Sharika Jackson with a PB. Elaine Thompson Hera does at last get a medal in the World Championship, upgrading her fourth place finish from Doha, but not to be the gold for the Olympic champion. And a championship record on top of that. How the Jamaicans will celebrate tonight. <laughs> what odds on that? An American sweep in the men's 100 meters, a Jamaican sweep in the women's. Jackson and Thompson Hera sharing this great moment. One of so many. I mean, re realistically, how many more years do you think we will be watching Fraser Price and Thompson Hera at, performing at this kind of level? I mean, they are in their early to mid 30s. We really should savor these occasions because there won't be too many more. But they're getting better. They're getting better with age. If you think about it, you look at the time that they were running, you know, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, what she was running five, six years ago to what she's running now. She's running faster now, you know, so she could be that fine wine. Gets better with time. Well, I can't wait to see the 200 meters because Sharika Jackson will feel she's got a point to prove. Because remember, she eased down in qualification last year. And you can argue the 400 meter specialist has got her best event at the two, especially after winning the trials in 21.55, the third <laughs> fastest in history. Loving it, loving it from Fraser Price. And so are the crowd. And all credit to those who have stuck around. They're, they're being as enthusiastic for this as they were for the American reception yes. after, the, after yes. their 100 meter final last night. Something I heard Shelly Ann say, it says, people don't really understand where people come from. We are products of our, of our environment. You have to heal from your journey. They push you and motivate you. Track gives her that control, always looking for the next level to elevate and inspire. 
That's what she did tonight to so many young kids, too. Dina Asher-Smith, by the way, in fourth, equaled her national record of 10.83. Kambunji, 10.91. Great performance from her. Hobbs, 10.92. Tarlu, 10.93. Only Jefferson didn't break 11 seconds. Seven women inside 10.95. That is quite some quality. That's a great final. Great final. She will be soaking this up for quite some number of minutes to come. I would love to have been in a bar in Kingston and watched oh, the reaction <laughs> as, they, as they saw their queen delivering a golden moment again. Keeps on coming back year after year after year and delivering golden glory for herself, her family and her famous Caribbean island nation. And I know her son Zion is so proud of her to be able to watch this and see his mom claim the world title. Now those uh, pictures will be posted all over Instagram and <laughs> Facebook and everywhere else. Oh, I got a picture with Shelly Ann <laughs> in the stadium. 